in the Big Dipper Barn Dance on a Friday night in Spokane. She don't love you the way I do. Chasing cows on his ranch in northern Montana. Or chasing buffalo to train his cutting horses. It's all part of the rich life of rancher, horseman, and award-winning cowboy singer-songwriter Wiley Gustafson. It's a great life being able to do the music and then come home. Get on a horse and go check the cattle and and uh, you know a lot a lot of to write about as far as songwriting here. You know, yeah. A lot of inspiration. Long popular at cowboy music festivals like this show in Santa Clarita, California, Wiley's music has taken him all over the world. He's performed in France, Japan, and Australia, played dozens of times at Nashville's legendary Grand Ole Opry, and jammed with late night TV star Conan O'Brien. And you've heard Wiley's biggest hit many times. And that was my voice. That trademark yodel on the Yahoo commercials. Yeah, that was my hit. You know, I always thought my hit record was going to be three minutes, and it turned out to be three notes. Those were three very lucrative notes. Now, yodeling has been good to me, so I wrote another, another a song, another true story, autobiography of called The Yodeling Fool. Goes out to Joe and Tim tonight. That was a huge income source, allowed me to, to buy a nice ranch and some nice cutting horses and build a nice arena to ride in. So um, just allowed me to do more of what I wanted to do with the horses. Music and horses have forever been part of Wiley's life, just as they were for his well-known father. Raymond Gustafson, better known as Rib, was a Montana horse and cattle veterinarian who raised Wiley and his four siblings horseback on a Montana ranch to the soundtrack of his Martin D-18 guitar. My dad's favorite thing was to gather us around in the living room, usually on the weekends, usually after the Lawrence Welk show, and sing cowboy songs to us. And then we had four brothers and one sister, and then he'd do dance songs, and we'd wear our sister out, take her turn dancing with her in the living room. So, you know, a lot of good memories growing up with dad playing music. He would turn off the TV and uh, sing songs like this. He still thinks the barren waste without the taste of water. Dad was teaching Wiley how to play his first cowboy tune about the time he was old enough to pick up a guitar. And by middle school, he was playing bass in his older brother's high school dance band. He needed a cheap bass player. So I said, look, I'll do it for free. Plus, I will haul your equipment around. I'll be the roadie. Wiley's been on stage ever since. And the expert horseman has been horseback ever since he was old enough to sit in the saddle. Dad was I guess what you'd call a renaissance man. He skied, played guitar, was a cowboy, was a horseman, rodeoed, you know, did all this stuff and included his kids in his activities. We would go back into the Bob Marshall wilderness with horses, a pack string, um, every year. He was a ranch vet, so we were helping him doing his vet calls. And then he owned a ranch, so we had to do all that uh, stuff that around the ranch, and it was just a wonderful life growing up. When I was a kid uh, on the ranch, my dad had what he called a character development program. <laughs> Basically, that was just a lot of hard work, and, and it, in, in the summer times, we would buck hay bales all summer long. Wiley's music is full of stories from the ranch life, like 200 tons to go. Now 60 pounds of peace don't seem so bad. But 
Tunes about favorite horses, rodeo romance, riding, roping, laughing, and loping. Celebrate what he calls the Montana ranching culture. There wasn't a lot of music that reflected what the ranch families were really going through. So I made it a point to start writing music that reflects the true ranch culture. Not only the romantic side of it, uh, but the, the side of it that um, the everyday life side of it. So when I go and perform at a cowboy gathering, it really means a lot to me when the ranch families come up to me and thank me for writing music that they can relate to and that really represents what they feel is the cowboy life. Wiley can write about the cowboy life because it's the life he leads to this very day on his ranch outside his hometown of Conrad, Montana. I focus on raising and training horses, breeding horses, and selling young horses. So we're a horse ranch more than anything else, but we do have cattle. He also keeps a couple buffalo on hand to train the pedigree American quarter horses he raises as cutting horses. Cutting is an ancient tradition with the cowboys. We've turned it into kind of a modern horse sport, but um, it, it comes from a real place where the cutting horse was the horse that was used on the ranch to, to doctor cattle, to cut out strays, and usually it was the boss's favorite horse. So the cattle will burn out in a couple weeks, two or three weeks, they'll just give up and they won't respond at all. Buffalo stay moving all the time, they, they always give a lot of respect to the horse. So her reward for working good the belt buckles, they're pretty important to me because, you know, each one of those is pretty hard to win. Wiley's competed for years in cutting, and his trophy buckle collection shows he's won his share. One of the reasons I did that was just to, to prove, I guess, my horsemanship, prove that I could go compete with other horsemen. While Wiley is, of course, a cowboy, he's especially proud to be known as a horseman. Everybody has a different way of training cutting horses, but for me, the relief when they're doing things right and giving them relief and giving them a breather is the key to me training a cutting horse. To be known as a horseman was, to me, a higher, higher honor than being known as a cowboy, because there was a lot of cowboys around, a lot of good cowboys. Uh, but the horsemen, there wasn't a lot of great horsemen around. You know, you really noticed when there was a good horseman, when you were around a good horseman, you really noticed that. And I always wanted to be a good horseman. I considered my father a good horseman. We grew up around horses that just took care of us, never had any bad accidents. So he had a pretty good horse program. You know, in the cowboy element, I always wanted to be around good cowboys, too. And so that's uh, equally important to me in terms of just getting through the day. But being known as a horseman, to me, is, is the ultimate uh, compliment. Sweet bird of you. No easy keeper. No the horses, the ranch life, and the beauty of Montana have long served as the material and inspiration for a music career that has produced 22 CDs. The songs can be serious, moving, romantic, or just plain fun. Wiley's unique style of cowboy music could be described as a genre mixing blend of rock and roll, the classic country sound of Buck Owens and Merle Haggard, and the legendary Sun Records of Elvis, Johnny Cash, and Carl Perkins. That beat was so important, and we just kind of borrowed that beat. The ranchers up in Montana, they grew up with rock and roll, and there are a lot of dancers up in Montana, so we do a lot of cowboy dances. Um, just because uh, our music is easy to dance to. Trying to loosen up a little bit on a Friday night. Wiley's music even inspires a little dancing of his own. 
He's become well known for his unique style of twist and shout on stage. I just enjoy playing music so much, it's hard for me to keep still up there. God has just blessed me with the gift of music, and it just, when I perform, it just seems to run through me, you know. Then sings my soul, my Savior, God to thee. Faith in God is the center of Wiley's life, and he's not afraid to share it. A Christian song or two are often included on his records and his concerts. You can't look at a calf being born or a foal being born in the spring and not believe that there's a God. There's just certain things that you see every day in ranching that just really reaffirm the fact that God is with us. It all comes full circle from the stage to the saddle and back again. Back to the horsemanship, um, I have a full album of songs I've written about horses. Uh, to me, the horse is, is a reflection of God's beauty and grace, and um, they're just wonderful, wonderful animals. They really are a gift from God. Wiley's fellow cowboys have shown their appreciation for his work by inducting him into the Montana Cowboy Hall of Fame, an honor also bestowed on his late father. Making a living as a rancher, a horseman, and a cowboy singer isn't the easiest trail to follow, but for Wiley, it's a labor of love. I'm doing the two things that I love to do. The horses are such a passion and give me such inspiration for the music. So the nice thing about doing both is they both feed off of each other. I love going out and performing, making some money, and then I dump it back into the ranch or um, dump it back into the horses, and then the horses and the ranch lifestyle inspire my music. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy your Sunday at the Santa Clarita Cowboy Gallery.